Hello guys, uh, this is my first video. I just wanted to show a small trick in ZBrush of how to work with alphas that need to be intersecting each other. Uh, you know that normally in ZBrush, when you these ones are uh, free the alphas vectors. Uh, I'm using the layer brush, but um, you can use any one, the chisel or whatever. Uh, I found that with the, the layer brush works very well. Um, so let's say that you are working with any alpha. Let's bring uh, something like this. You drag your alpha and you want to drag another one close to it, like here. And you start to get these results, right? So some weird stuff right now. So you, have, you can uh, also use masking but it will still it will still give you some um, weird polygons. So I have a trick for work with this. So let's keep this in a side so we can just see the difference. So let's say I have this, and I go to go to morph target. We are going to store a morph target, right? So it's going to remember this surface. And now we are going to drag our alpha. What happens if we drag another one? Now it's intersecting perfectly. Yeah? So this is super, super useful for if you are doing environments or even scales or some alpha dragging. So now, for example, let's say if you want to work, what happens if you want to work with vectors? Same thing, with work, vectors works in the same way. Also, take a look. That's what you will get before. Now, this is what you get. Perfect intersecting alphas. So I did a couple of vectors just to show you guys. So the first one is kind of a sphere. Yeah, it's like that. So 3D vector alpha. Uh, and let's say that I want to drag more. You just can drag more and more and more. That, that would be my weird stuff, but that. Yeah. Before, what we will get before? Before, without any morph target save, of results will be something like this. Yeah. Let's go back. Let's try another one. Let's try, for example, the scale one. Yeah. Let's say I want to work with intersect with alpha with other ones. Okay. This is not what they really want, right? This this doesn't work. Okay. So if we store a morph target, again, store a morph target, we have lazy mouse activated as well. And I drag my first scale, and now I drag my second scale, and now I drag my first scale, and I'm still dragging and dragging. And you can see that all of them are intersecting each other perfectly. This make it much more easy to, to create patterns with alphas. Even if you want to create a bigger one, um, maybe not for scales, but even if you want to create a bigger one, 
you can see that it's still intersecting there so for example let's say that we are doing something hard surface right and we need to have kind of a stair detail works perfect yeah so ah i'm going to show as well um how it will work for example let's say i'm going to do it in a proper creature right so i'm going to exactly the same i'm going to just smooth an area uh, here maybe smooth it a little bit good So I'm going to show, for example, if we go to, I'm going to delete my morph target. So same example, and I create, oops. Okay, I create my first scale, and now I create my second one. Doesn't work, right? Okay, so I go, let's go back. Store a morph target, lazy mouse activated. Let's drag it. One, two, three, four, and all of them intersect perfectly. This is super, super cool for create and patterns with the scales and small details um, this works amazing you can use any brush i found that with the layer brush i uh, get sometimes better results uh, could be the settings i was using or um, whatever but with the layer it's working very very good um, mostly for um, hard surface areas like hard, um, hard surface alphas um like these ones that for example that works pretty good so let's say that you create a couple of scales alphas or vector alphas these ones are vectors and works the same with normal alphas but um let's say that you create a couple of them you can start to play with them and make replicate some of the patterns uh, that you have in lizards and and other reptiles I can be doing this all day okay cool which just this a small trick and hope you guys like it um, if you like it please let me know and I will try to uh, do more videos thank you guys see ya